In this video, we are going to see Bode plot for poles on real axis. <coughs> if you take one pole on real axis, the transfer function for that looks like this when we write in time constant form. Okay. For plotting a Bode plot, we substitute as with j omega. And for your information, uh, when we say the pole is on real axis, we represent this pole on S plane. Okay. Sigma and this is uh, imaginary axis j omega, we can represent this as minus 1 by t. So the pole is on real axis, that's the reason why we say poles on real axis. <coughs> if you write the magnitude and phase angle form of this, uh, magnitude in dB, if you write, it will be minus 20 log base 10 of square root of 1 plus omega square t square. Okay. And phi will be equal to minus tan inverse of omega. Now, <coughs> when omega is less than 1 by t, omega t term will be less than 1. And omega t whole square will be very, very less than 1. In that case, we can take this term to be 1. Okay. So, at that point, m will be 0 dB. Okay. Now, when omega is greater than 1 by t, omega square t square will be very, very greater than 1. So, in that case, we can take m to be minus 20 log base 10 of omega t. Okay. <coughs> now, phi for uh, omega equals to 0, phi will be 0. Okay. Now, when omega is very small, it will be nearly equal to 0. And when omega equals 1 by t, phi will be 45 degrees. As omega tends to infinity, we will have phi equals minus 90. Sorry, this is minus 45. Okay, we have a minus sign there. Now, we know the values of uh, m and phi. Now, let's see how the Bode plot looks. Let's take a semi-log plot, okay, like this. And let's uh, take omega omega equals 1 over t this is the point let's say this is the point of that okay and uh, let's take this this axis is log of omega and uh, this magnitude let's take a reference 0 db this axis is in db okay now this is minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 minus 80 <coughs> now we know uh, by taking this omega equals 1 by t as reference if uh, omega is less than omega t is this area in which 0 db is the value of the magnitude plot. And when omega equals 1 by t, if you substitute a value in this, okay, it will also become 0 db and this also is showing 0 db. So when we go from <coughs> this side to this side or this side to this side, we are getting 0 db. So we mark this as 0 db. Now, when omega equals <coughs> omega equals 1 by t, we know it is 0 dB. When omega equals 10 by t, let's see what value it is. It will be minus 20 dB if you substitute in it. Okay. Then it becomes minus 20 times log base 10 of 10, which will be minus 20 dB. If it is 100 over t, it will be minus 40 dB. So looking at this, if you take this as 10 over t and this is 100 over t. Now, this point and this is the reference for 100 minus 40. Now, the line which is coming should touch these two values. Okay. Minus 20 and minus 40 at 10 by t and 100 by t respectively. And the slope of this one will be minus 20 db per decade. We saw this is one decade in x-axis, okay, and this is 20 db. And this is one decade, okay, and it is 20 db dec dec uh, decrease in the magnitude. We can write also this as minus 6 db per octave. If you see when omega equals uh, 2 by t, which will be nearly this value, okay, kind of and the magnitude drop will be 6 db per octave okay we have seen definition of octave and decade in the previous video if 
fine. This is how the plot looks for a uh, magnitude plot looks for a real pole, a single real pole. Okay. Now, how does the phase plot look for this? Okay. Now, taking zero as a reference and uh, 90 and 180, minus 90 and minus 180. We have already seen we won't represent omega zero corresponding point on x-axis because this plot is log omega which will be minus infinity which we can't represent on the x-axis or it's not defined so we take this value is very very small value okay 0 0.01 times or something like that of uh, 1 by t so it will be nearly equal to 0 or, and it will be less than 0 slightly okay now as we have taken omega equals 1 by t line there let's take the same value here okay and uh, take a reference line now in this case we have seen in the previous this one okay phase angle determination it is minus 45 degrees and omega tends to infinity it is minus 90 degrees so if you look at this as omega tends to a very high value it is supposed to tend to infinity okay it tends to infinity slowly okay this is how the phase plot looks for a 1 by 1 plus j omega t function okay fine and now let's see if the real poles at that point are 2 how does it look and by the way this omega equals 1 by t is known as corner frequency okay if you see here this frequency is known as corner frequency okay you can see here why it looks corner okay now coming to the point of this 1 over 1 plus st whole square now if we write this in magnitude form it looks like this minus 40 log base 10 of square root of 1 plus omega square t square just with the same analysis where omega is less than 1 by t and omega greater than 1 by t we can write uh, equations for that m will be 0 okay just like the similar case uh, previously discussed and it will be minus 40 log base 10 of omega t if you try plotting this equation let me take a different color and plot this on the same plots where we have plotted for a single real pole okay it will be 0 okay till this point where omega equals 1 by t and then comes this point where uh, it will be minus 40 db and minus 80 db for 10 by t and 100 by t respectively let's uh, connect these dots okay okay this is how the plot looks for 1 over 1 plus j omega t whole square okay this is how it looks and the slope will be minus 40 db per decade or we can write it as minus 12 db per octave okay fine this is how it looks and let's see how it looks for a uh, phase angle okay now we know how it looks phase it will be minus 2 times tan inverse of omega t as we are having two real poles at the same point so we have two term here and now phase angle from omega tends to 0 to infinity phase angle will be 0 to minus 180 degrees fine and when omega equals 1 by t we have phase angle equals minus 90 degrees taking this as a reference point here okay we can plot it this point and take this as the reference point as uh, omega tends to a high value it tends to a high value as omega tends to a high value it goes down like this okay this is for 1 over 1 plus j omega t whole square and this is for 1 over 1 plus j omega fine this is how the plot looks and now we can 
say this for a generic one where 1 plus st whole power r is there then what happens is uh, when omega equals omega less than 1 by t that point will have 0 db okay and omega greater than 1 by t the plot decays minus 20 times r times okay r db per decade okay we can also write this as minus 6 times r db per octave okay this is how it looks this is a generic one okay you substitute r and you you get to know how it is changing okay and now looking at phi also phi will be equal to <coughs> minus 45 times r degrees okay degrees when omega equals 1 by t fine as omega tends to infinity it will be equal to minus 90 times r degrees fine this is how the plots and generic ones look okay this is for 1 and 2 here 1 and 2 okay